Welcome back to AI News, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of artificial intelligence. Today, we'll be diving into Google's latest AI models for healthcare, exploring the impact of ChatGPT on science, and discussing the future of jobs in the AI era. And as if that wasn't enough, we'll also be looking at how AI is shaping the future of chip design. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Google has announced Metalem, a suite of healthcare-specific AI models designed to assist clinicians and researchers. The suite includes a large and medium-sized model, with the larger model better suited for complex tasks, and the medium-sized model optimized for specific functions like summarizing doctor-patient interactions. Companies like HCA Healthcare and BenchSci have been testing the technology, using it to automate tasks, such as documenting patient interactions and identifying biomarkers. While the potential for impact is real, challenges such as incorrect information and managing the AI over time have been identified. Google plans to introduce healthcare-specific versions of its Gemini AI model to MedLM in the future, but emphasizes the need for testing and evaluation in controlled settings. The goal is to develop domain-specific models that are smaller, cheaper, faster, and better for various use cases within organizations. ChatGPT, a generative artificial intelligence program, has had a profound impact on science, serving as a lab assistant, aiding in research, and sparking debates about the limits of AI. While it has valuable applications, such as enhancing scientific search engines, it also poses dangers, including aiding cheats and plagiarists and reproducing biases and inaccuracies. The size and complexity of large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT make them black boxes, and understanding their output is challenging without public code and training materials. The open source LLM movement is growing, but regulation and safety features remain uncertain. Despite the controversies, the generative AI revolution is underway, with the potential for further advancements. Paul Duggerty, CTO of Accenture, advises businesses to invest more in developing their workforce for AI rather than just focusing on technology. He emphasizes the importance of helping employees adapt to the changes AI will bring to the workplace. Critical thinking, reasoning, and problem solving are identified as key skills for workers in the AI age. Doherty highlights the need for humans to be involved in the AI process to provide smart signals and add human knowledge. However, he acknowledges that AI adoption may lead to job consolidation, with fewer people needed for repetitive tasks. The biggest concern is the impact on jobs for those who won't use generative AI. Intel is using artificial intelligence, AI, to design and manufacture its new Meteor Lake processors. The AI tools help catch bugs early in the design process, optimize the arrangement of transistors, and find the best way to sell each processor. This results in faster time to market, increased sellable units, and improved performance and cost for laptops. AI is also being used by other companies in the processor manufacturing business, such as Cadence, Synopsys, Google, and NVIDIA. Intel combines AI tools from external chip design companies with its own internally developed tools, including bug analysis, generative AI for creating tests, and scrutinizing chips on the manufacturing line. The goal is to maximize yield, performance, and power improvement for the processors. And that's a wrap for today's AI News Roundup. Who knew machines could cause this much drama, huh? Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more AI antics. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and algorithmically enhance your day.